souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who followed the footsteps of Christ, and since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exult with Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Today we're keeping the memorial of Saints Cosmas and Damien, believed to be, well, in tradition, two twins who were both physicians. They were Arab Christians and working in the third century and as well as uh, having a reputation for not charging for their work, uh, they also converted many of the people that they tended to, to Christ. And so they did two works of um, physicians, both physical and spiritual. And uh, ultimately they suffered in the persecution of the Emperor Diocletian around about the year 300, uh, probably martyred in Syria. Uh, later on their uh, relics were brought to Rome and their names were inserted in the Roman canon. So we mention them every time we pray that Eucharistic prayer. And so we give thanks to God for their witness and the witness of so many martyrs whose blood becomes the seeds of Holy Mother Church. The Mass is offered for uh, Mary Arthur and Kathleen Horton for the repose of their souls. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May you be magnified, O Lord, by the revered memory of your saints Cosmos and Damien, for with providence beyond words you have conferred on them everlasting glory, and on us your unfailing help, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Rejoice in your youth, you who are young. Let your heart give you joy in your young days. Follow the promptings of your heart and the desires of your eyes. But this you must know, for all these things God will bring you to judgment. Cast worry from your heart, shield your flesh from pain. Yet youth, the age of dark hair, is vanity. And remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before evil days come and the years approach when you say, These give me no pleasure before sun and light and moon and stars grow dark and the clouds return after the rain, the day when those who keep the house tremble and strong men are bowed, when the women grind no longer at the mill because day is darkening at the windows and the street doors are shut, when the sound of the mill is faint, when the voice of the bird is silenced 
and song notes are stilled. When to go uphill is an ordeal, and a walking is something to dread. Yet the almond tree is in flower, the grasshopper is heavy with food, and the caper bush bears its fruit. While man goes to his everlasting home, and the mourners are already walking to and fro in the street, before the silver cord has snapped, or the golden lamp been broken, or the picture shattered at the spring, or the pulley cracked at the well, or before the dust returns to the earth as it came, once came from it, and the breath of God who gave it. Vanity of vanities, the preacher says, all is vanity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You turn men back into dust and, go, and say, go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass it springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. O oh Lord, you have been our ref a refuge from one generation to the next. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent, is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Let the favour of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Open our heart, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At a time when everyone was full of admiration for all he did, Jesus said to his disciples, For your part you must have these words constantly in your mind. The Son of Man is going to be handed over into the power of men. But they did not understand him when he said this. It was hidden from them, so that they should not see the meaning of it and they were afraid to ask him about what he had just said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Solomon, when he wrote the book of Ecclesiastes, which it is believed he did, um, had some very wise things to say about enjoying life while we have youth and vigour and all the rest of it. But... We must know that all these things God will bring you to judgment of how you've used his gifts. And remember that sooner or later uh, we will get old and get to the point where things become difficult. Um, it's uh, in the nature of things that we grow older and our um, resources and our strengths start to uh, decrease um, Youth, the age of dark hair, is vanity. Well, yes, I can bear testimony to that. Um, I no longer have dark hair. My hair was once black. It is now, well, it's more silver than grey. And so we get older. But if we have given our lives um, to God, if we have given back just a little of what he has given to us, then we have no need to fear when things become difficult. And, of course, Jesus himself faced that ultimate challenge, not because he needed to, but because he was willingly giving up his will for the Father's will, that he should give his life as a sacrifice for many, and, he, and indeed for all. And he uh, died on the cross, that fate which uh, the disciples, those listening to him uh, that day, could not quite understand. How could the Messiah suffer so? And yet that was what was to happen. And if he suffers so, then why should not we? And that was the way all the martyrs um, believed, that they indeed wanted to join Jesus on the cross, to give their lives, to pour out that life which he had poured out for them. 
um, what he had given in abundance, they were now giving what they could uh, back in return. It's always a mean response, but it is all that the Lord asks of us anyway. And Cosmos and Damien um, gave out their share in due course, which was um, seen to be, uh, uh, you know, a wonderful gift. The church recognised this, and heaven obviously accepted them into its mansions, so that they now pray for us, that we may be generous with the gift uh, that God has given us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. In honour of the precious death of your just ones, O Lord, we come to offer that sacrifice from which all martyrdom draws its origin. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardour to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, we with all the host of angels cry out and without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest to you therefore most merciful father we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all those who hold him to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servant. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Christogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. 
Please, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O oh God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks. He sent the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, ba Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit as we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment mine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment mine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Amen. Let us pray. Preserve in us your gift, O Lord, and may what we have received at your hands as we commemorate the martyrs St. Cosmas and Damien be as healing, salvation and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.